are off and running the seventh stop of the Bassmaster Lead Series, and it takes us to Santee Coop for the Low Country of South Carolina. I've got Davey Hyde here in studio with us, a guy who lives right down the road from there, has a lot of history at Santee Cooper, a great playing field for the Bassmaster Lead Series, but we haven't been there since 2006. So I'm going to need you to give a big refresher for the folks at home on the lay of the lake and the key areas that are going to play. So as we take it to the map, we obviously know Santee Cooper is not just one lake. It's two different lakes, Lake Marion and Lake Moultrie, and there's a lot of places to fish here. A lot of places to fish, no doubt about it. It is two lakes, this being the biggest lake in the state of South Carolina, Lake Marion. So we're going to start there. The takeoff will be at John C. Land Landing. Most of the bigger tournaments seem to go out of here. It's a great facility, a great place to take off. About mid lake here on Lake Marion, a lot of options. The big key, in my opinion, is going to be able the person can narrow it down. We have a lot of swampy area. If you go west, low falls, stump hole. Jack's Creek is uh, kind of a mixture of big water, standing timber, protection from the wind, something you definitely need to take into consideration, getting ready anytime you want to go on Santee Cooper to fish. Lake Marion, like I said, is a huge lake. You go down, some of the guys from Talcall Creek, straight down the lake, big water. This is uh, two creeks, Potato and Waibu, a lot of boat docks, looks like a lot of our man-made lakes there. Rocks Pond, Brickyard area, a lot of swampy cypress trees, that sort of thing right in there. And you know that's where Preston Clark did a lot of his damage big time uh, in the Elite Series event and he won there. Now when we go south yeah. there from the dam, you go to the Diversion nice. Canal and what is the playing field in Lake Moultrie, the smaller of the two? So it's very different looking lake. It's a bowl, so to speak, average depth, not a whole lot, not as much uh, timber, a lot of stumps in the lower lake. Duck Pond area, Black's Camp area, the Cat Canal itself, the hatchery is always a good place. The big, big key here, Ronnie, no doubt about it, how do you narrow this down? Two and a half days of practice, leaving from Talcall Creek, it'll be very interesting to see. The fishing will be good. A lot of wood, a lot of standing type cypress trees. It'll be something similar to like a Toledo Bend or navigating wise. There's not a straight shot from here to there in a lot of places. Guys are gonna take a lot of time, but you were in that Elite Series event in 2006. For you, how much has that lake changed from 2006 to now? It's obviously not the best time for fishing, but as a whole, Santee Cooper always puts them out. It's a little easier to navigate because the standing timber, more of it has, has blown over since then. Very different time of year. That's the big, big key. If we were there in April like we had planned before this pandemic, you would see everyone in the field catching a limit. It'd be a matter of catching over 20 pounds to have a chance to do well. The big key here, get in an area, settle down. There's going to be some guys that have a rough time trying to catch five keepers, but it will take a lot of weight to win this event, in my opinion. Over 20 pounds, several days for the winter. A lot of options on the biggest lake in South Carolina, Santee Cooper, Lake Marion, Lake Moultrie combines for that. Like you said, if you go west on Marion from takeoff, you've got west of 95. Everyone goes up I-95 and you cross Santee Cooper, Jacks Creek, and the low fall swamp area that is west of there and then you've got all those key players on the south side of Marion and then in Moultrie you think that it's going to be able to absorb a couple of the boats in the elite field you think that some people will definitely spend their time in Moultrie only oh I, I definitely think there, there's a there's a lot of great fishing there a, a lot of great finishes even some wins in our previous Bassmaster tournaments there this will be a place not as many people explore but it's a definitely a lake that it could be one take the fish from this lake all the way back to Talcall Creek, John C. Land, and we'll see some big stringers coming from here. It'll be a little different. Uh, maybe even some brush piles and some stumps offshore. Well, we see what the Santee River and the Cooper River produce on Winya Bay, why those are such prominent places when we go to Winya Bay. Those funnel from Lake Marion and Moultrie into that title system. So should be a great visit for the Bassmaster Elite Series, the seventh stop of the season, Santee Cooper in the low country of South Carolina.